Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more of the Flashpoint DLC of Battletech, picking up right where we left off in the last video. We only have a couple more enemies to deal with. We have the Spider, which is pretty heavily damaged, and we have two vehicles, which we haven't seen yet, but I suspect one is a Striker and the other is a Scorpion. Okay, let's, uh, let's get going here. Who do we want to hit the Spider before the Spider gets a chance to go? I think I'm going to go with the Commander here. Move into the woods. Hit it. We might use the precision strike just to uh, prevent it from moving away. So we can continue to hit it, delete it. Uh, then the enemy won't have line of sight. And we can move freely. Oop, we want to use a precision strike. Uh, go for the center torso for the kill. Firing all weapons. Okay. Well, serious damage. I think I hit something good. That's going to have its initiative lowered, so my other Light Max will be able to aye, aye. Uh, push forward here and attack. It's going to be a hard target to hit because it still has a lot of evasion, but, well, a decent amount of evasion. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll fire both weapons. If we hit the PPC, it won't matter. Yeah, it's dead. So there goes the enemy's vision. So we're fine just waiting on them then, because they can't see me. Standing if they can't see me, they can't really do much to me. And again, we'll do the same thing. Alright. So if I go down in this canyon, maybe a jump? Yeah, I can't get to them this turn anyway. It'll probably take a couple turns before we... I can establish line of sight here. Oh, there we go. That's that's the, where we need to get. Uh, will I ha have any follow-up on this? I doubt it, because I'm running hot. Engaging jump jet. Many of my mechs are running hot at this stage. And I just jumped quite a bit there. Uh, let me get the kill on the Scorpion. We can only fire two medium lasers, it's not likely. Alright, we'll still go for it. Maybe if we'd hit in the same spot, we would have gotten it. Okay. What do you need? Well, now that we've established that line of sight, we can hit it again from the same side. I don't like that movement better. Probably only gonna be the large laser, but if we if we get lucky, that might be all we need. There we go. It's dead. So they have one vehicle to go. Vehicle trashed. And all of my max will be able to go before it gets to go. So that's good. Um, question is... It, will that matter much? Uh, I don't know if many of them will be able to get shots off. I'm ready. Doesn't look like we can actually go down into this canyon by walking. So I'm going to have to go the long route. Down this way. So it's really going to be down to my Jenner, who, which is very hot, and my Vindicator, which isn't so hot, but. Uh, oh, I should have sprinted. That was dumb. Oh, well. Yes, Commander. Here we may be able to jump to get that line of sight. Oh, no. Never mind. Okay, well this time I'm not going to make the mistake. I'm going to sprint. We'll go. I may just back off with the Jenner because I'm not likely going to get that kill. So unless I can follow up with the Vindicator. I mean, we'll see. Maybe the Vindicator can go down this little yep. path. It sure can, but the problem is I'm going to get into a position to actually fire here. And here. Okay, we have a decent chance of, of killing this thing, so I'll go for it. Although, I say that. Again, the Jenner's not going to be really able to really follow up here, so if this kill doesn't happen now. Can we get it better than 85? Well, we could focus the fire. Let's go after one of the sides rather than. Confirmed. I think I picked the right side, hopefully. 
Die? Yeah, alright. We got it. That should be the end of the mission. Okay, yeah. Mission successful. Hey, get a bonus. Excellent. Not really serious damage. And we are, of course, going to take a Vindicator part here. So that we may be able to get another one. Uh, so that's going to be that. Confirm. We also got another spider part and an SRM-6. Machine gun ammo. Okay, let's take another look at my mech warriors. Okay, so starting with me, I think we get... What does this provide? Plus one max evasion. I'll go ahead and take that. Mech warrior training complete. Okay. Start with Revere here. Okay, we can get this, which is what I've been waiting for. All right. Training complete. Move down to truck. So we do have enough points to get our next thing. I want to reread Bulwark because I want to make sure I understand how it works. Cover and guarded states pro both provide 40% damage reduction rather than 20% damage reduction. Cover and guarded together provide 60% damage reduction. Oh, so it doesn't work the way it used to because Bulwark, what it used to do is if you stayed put, it allowed you to still fire and you would get guarded status afterwards. This doesn't work like that at all. I still think this is good. But it's, at best, it's going to be 40%. And really, what it's doing is, for me, most of the time, it's making cover worth more. Well, if you see me play, I tend to stick to cover anyway. But this is still a good thing to pick up, I think. Yeah, it's just making you value cover more. I think I take it. I think this is the one I take. And... Uh, Yeah. I might do the same thing with Gnarly as well. Because otherwise we focus on movement. It, it's it's movement or cover it, is really what you're looking for. And both are viable. But I'm already doing that with one of my pilots. I'm already focusing on movement. And uh, if I'm going to have support pilots, which I, I may even have two of, uh, both Gnarly and uh, Truck are, are good candidates for that, then cover is going to be probably better. And also if these are frontline pilots, uh, frontline pilot slash piloting mechs that are frontline mechs, then still I think the bulwark is going to be better in the future. I think. So that's what I'm going to go for. But yeah, definitely this is going to have to take me like kind of relearning how bulwark works to a certain extent and applying it properly. But I think that still is going to be the way I'm going to go as I tend to stick to cover anyway. Okay, so now we've made that determination. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the last contract here, which is a battle contract, again, against the Compellens, so we're eroding all of the goodwill we had made up. I'm going to go ahead and get more money here than salvage, because at one skull, I don't expect the enemy to be really anything I, I necessarily want to salvage. I'd rather just have the money at this point. All right, let's go. And we're in. Command interface initiated. It is going to be a stand-up fight, Commander. Your lance against the opposing forces. Intel says they're near your current location. Move in and clear them out. Good hunting, Commander. Live you're out. All right, here we go. Hmm. We can use the forest to our advantage. That's exactly what I was going to do. Good call. So, jumping is really a good idea for me because I'm going to brace, which gives me guarded. And the two of them together, guarded and cover, gives me a 60% defensive bonus. Confirmed. So that is going to be nice. Ah, my All right, we already have contact up there. All right. Uh, we'll jump into cover over here. So I'm just going to have to be mindful of that with the Vindicator and the Panther. But I like to go into cover anyway, so I'm not... Hard for me to pull off. Uh, here's a fine point. We got a lot of evasion and we still got the cover. And for you... Well, we can only get four evasion. That's a max this pilot can even do. So this is a fine point too. And maybe we'll be behind that rock and not be seen. So... 
Okay. We got another I'm guessing light mech here because it moved right away. All right, we'll reserve again. Waiting for my opening. Okay, so three light mechs that we know about so far. Reserve again, see if there's anything else on the scope. Okay, reserve one more time. So it seems like just three light mechs. Now, they may be fully armored, so I have to be prepared for that. Okay. I'm here. Move Revere up. Keep him in cover, of course. On my way. We'll see how much uh, evasion this guy has. Only one, so there's no point in sensor locking him. This is middle attribute. Trenched. All right, so it's just going to be harder to do stability damage, but we're not set up for that anyway, so that's fine. So let's take the attack that we got. Confirmed. Okay, a couple hits there. Now, it does look like they do have reduced armor, so that's actually surprising to me. Yeah. At this difficulty level, I would have assumed... So, there's no downside of me aggressively moving up here. I still maintain cover, which gives me a 40% reduction of damage. Uh, and I get to get nice and close, and then in the future I may be able to punch. I still think that's a great opportunity. Understood. Well, hopefully we can just get in here and delete this guy before our next round even starts. Firing. Oh, this is a panther, and even with half armor, it's going to have good armor for this weight class. Yes, Commander. Now, there is no advantage of staying put. But we want to end in cover so we get the most bonus out of that. So we'll just jump to the side, make us a little bit closer, but... Affirmative. Okay. Target Even with mobile max, it makes a lot of sense. All right, and there goes the most damaging weapon that a panther has. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just walk here because I can build up a lot of evasion doing that. And we'll just open up on this guy and he may not be uh, still with us after this salvo. Not quite enough. Well, they didn't move with him first, so that was maybe a mistake. But we got a commando. Which variant? 1B? Okay. Ready for orders. I'll go ahead and walk up here, and we'll just dump into the panther. I'll even use a precision strike to try and lower his initiative in case he doesn't go down, but he... He would have to go down with this salvo. Two medium lasers and an SRM-6. That should be devastating considering how much damage he's taken. There's always a possibility. Let's just end this. Affirmative. That's a kill. Okay. There's only one more enemy mech. And... Might not be able to move into position to do anything. Awaiting orders. Now the question is... Yeah. I think this is still the right call. We'll jump in here, we'll fire. We'll have good evasion and 40% damage reduction. Not bad. A Commander 1D, uh, B, and a Commando 2D. Uh, they're both the same chance to hit, and the Commando 2D is the more threatening, so we'll go after that. Let's see how you like this. Please hit PPC. Good. And my pilot has not gone yet. It's not going to get a line of sight unless it jumps, though. Death from above. I don't know if I want to do that, though. 
like this is going to be the only attacking angle I can pull anything off. How much am I even going to be able to attack here? I don't know. I mean, honestly, uh, I might be too hot. Because I just did a full salvo, uh, an alpha strike. Oh, well, I guess I can get away with another one. Sadly, I missed there, but... Okay. What do you need? Now the question is, can truck follow up? Sure can. Got it. Might as well keep attacking. We keep attacking the same side. That should be pretty devastating. Copy that. We're not getting the defensive bonus, but there goes the mech itself. It's dead. Target destroyed. And now there's only one enemy left. Just gonna go now. We ended that last turn. And the way it's moving, who knows who it's going to attack here. Looks like the Vindicator. And it did hit with a lot of that, despite the evasion. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. I may not have a good follow up here. We'll have to see. I'm your Spaniel. Okay. I do want to attack the side. I don't think a lot of movement is really going to matter here. We just want to hit this guy fairly hard. Um, that being said... I might not only be able to pull off one laser here. If any, actually, with a jump. But otherwise, we won't really have anything to do, so... One laser. Give me one laser. Nope. All right, that's fine. Brace. I'm not taking heat damage, you know, for something like that. We might be better off sensor locking here. Again. Let's do have some flare here. Yep. What would happen if we did a death from above? 55% chance it'd land. Alright. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's do that. This is kind of a dumb thing to do, but I think it's fun. Death from above. Please land. <laughs> and a couple of small lasers to follow. Gotta love the death from above when it happens. Commander. Okay, and now this attack is gonna be pretty nice. Uh let's just get the kill with the center torso attack. Affirmative. Goodbye. Target eliminated. Target's down, Commander. Let's get you home and collect our pay. Ah, uh, that didn't feel like a one skull mission. That felt like uh, a half skull mission. But yeah, there's some variance, I guess. Mission successful. All right, we get our three hundred thousand. Uh, want to check the vindicator? It's all right. It didn't take any damage to that leg. That was serious. Uh, we get. Salvage, and I'm kind of in the same situation where it's like I'm, I'm not sure. SRM4 might be worth it because I don't know if I have many more of them, and there's going to be situations where the SRM4 is going to be the best thing I can put. So we'll grab one. And then anything else we get is just luck of the draw, I guess. All right. So now I have to determine where we're going to go. Because there are no more contracts here. Now there are travel contracts. And this is a one and a half skull one. I wouldn't mind going there. Let's see where it is. So, uh, to use memory. Well, go to the star map. It should highlight where the travel locations are. So that's that location. You know, a two skull planet wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Then there is one other travel destination. I bet you it's probably the flashpoint because it was two and a half skulls joint venture. Let's, let's see if that's true. 
not saying liberation. It's on the same planet as this place. Ah, uh, all right. So that's why there wasn't a second place. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so again, looking at the star map, what's all on that planet? It's a two skull place. Probably about time we would look at one of those. Uh, I think we may be able to handle those, especially as we're getting uh, some heavier mechs coming in here with more firepower. I think we could do with it. So what's on this particular planet? Battlefield, geothermal uh, boreholes. Ice world, that could be good for uh, dealing with heat. Low gravity planet, manufacturing, that could be good. Mining, periphery level civilization, small population. Hopefully manufacturing is uh, a good thing as far as getting supplies. Yeah, I think we'll go there. Uh, but we want to take the actual contract so we don't have to pay to travel. How far away is it, though? That was one of the things I want to check. It is 14 days. So what are we going to have done in 14 days? And then based off of that... Well, we can have the Jenner, the Jenner done in 5. The Panther done in 15. We could wait that extra day. That's not that big of a deal. Uh... Yeah, that's all we're going to get done, but that's really all we're waiting for. I mean, I really do want the fire starter here, uh, as I, I feel like that will be our scout mech. But having another Jenner, uh, that's good enough, and it's going to be, in my opinion, an upgrade over the Commando. The Commando probably does slightly more... No, actually, it's slightly less damage, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a difference of two, but... Yeah, so the Jenner's going to do more damage, it's going to have better armor, it's going to have more armor mobility. That just makes it all around the better choice. It's also heavier. So yeah, let's get going. So we'll take that 14 days. It's polar. That's also polar. I just wanted to check to make sure. Uh, it's going to be going for the Canopians, so that does build up some relationship. Who is it going to be against the Capellans? So unfortunately, we can continue to hurt our relationship with them. Uh, okay. And it is a recovery mission. We haven't done one yet, but I've done them in the past. So yeah, let's negotiate for this contract. At this stage, one and a half skulls. I still think we're going to get predominantly lighter mechs. So I, I think we're going to go more for the money than the salvage at this point. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, so we will accept that contract. Calculating course now, Commander. Away we go. So yeah, I'm probably going to wait that extra day for the Panther. But we don't have to, because we already have one Panther al uh, live and active. And this is just really meant to be uh, an option for us for, su uh, for support, Mac. But we could do without it. And then if like the Panther gets damaged or another mech gets damaged, we'd only have to wait one day and we'd have a replacement. So it's something we can manage. We are going to have a financial report a handful of days after the Panthers back online too. So we might want to delay that. Now I'm not going to open up the mission and start it right away. Oh, got that anyway. Yeah, we have arrived at the location. Uh, we're not going to proceed just yet though. But I do want to look at, for example, ship upgrades. That's something we just popped out. All right, so we've got 450. That's kind of expensive. 270. Okay, uh, that's more manageable. 270. So what is one's two tech points? They're both two tech points. That would have things get worked on faster. Recreation 225 gives us morale. I think that we want to work on uh, things like this first. So I will uh, purchase. This. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll I should have checked which one uh, would have been done faster. Oh well. Um, then we want to go into the Mech Warriors. See if any of them will level up. I doubt it. Uh, but you know, it's worth checking. Yes, 940, 1220, will be done. 720, 1720, I mean. Uh, I think we're going to run with Scarecrow, though, so I'll save him because he's got the. Uh, 
I uh, I spirits, but I am gonna up his uh, gunnery skill just to get him there. Yep. And then truck, we're fine. Okay. Uh, so I'm fine to launch his contract now. We are gonna want to switch out the commando for the jenner, but otherwise we're fine. Uh, because the the uh, fire starter and the other panther aren't ready yet. Okay, let's uh, deploy. Here we go. I realize I made a mistake and I didn't switch out uh, Revere for Scarecrow. Hopefully I can remember to do that in the next mission. This is an in-and-out mission. Locate the scientist and retriever. Get to the research facility and take control with one of your mechs. Once she's aboard, head to the marked evac zone where Samira will pick you up and the leopard. Best of luck, Commander. Olivia, you're out. Or we can just kill all the opposition and uh, not have to worry about it. Okay, so jumping, jumping. Keep our defense high. Jumping, jumping into Copy that. hoods. Okay, ice reduces movement speed and increases stability damage taken by 20%, but improves units heat sinking. Unit by okay. Um, uh, let's switch to Revere here, because Revere might be able to get more distance. There we go. Then we can have a follow in. Okay. Again, jumping there. Roger. You are gonna jump there. Confirm. Sprint to here. Sprint to here. Oh, actually, no. Don't sprint to there. Uh, cause that would put you directly in line of sight. You prefer to avoid that. That's fine. Spring to here is fine. Onward. A lot of evasion. Now we can build up. Are we up to six now, I think? Kind of hard to count those. Uh, all right, let's uh, reserve. They are mediums. Interesting. So maybe I was wrong with my choice there of salvage. Yeah, we got medium mechs here. Full armor medium mechs. Uh, is that the 4G variant? The one with a bunch of... Uh, we'll see which variant it is. Yeah, 4G. Yeah, that's the AC-20 one. Alright. Well, they definitely can see me. I still have a lot of evasion, though. So we'll just wait. Got another mech there. None of them fired at me. So it could be like more punchbacks. Well, now I really regret taking less salvage. Oh well. Uh, let's go with the in this situation. I guess gnarly. We can go with gnarly. Uh, doesn't matter if we jump or just walk here. Well, we'll get a lot more evasion if we jump. And we get closer and a more accurate shot. Alright, I'll take it. I have to be really careful with these hunchbacks, though. They they can dish out some mean damage. Target locked. Okay, hit him in the head. That's nice. Although we would have to hit him in the head more for it to really matter. You're not going to... Kill somebody with a PP C strike to the head. Not in one shot, anyway. Punchbacks are really good to flank. So I may have to be creative here. Yeah. Alright. Jump in. 
Do some damage. Got it. I'm actually really worried about this this fight. I know I outnumber my enemy, at least so far it seems that way. And I will be able to out-initiative him, so I can, like, move in, strike, then jump past him, hit him from behind. I will have to worry about whatever this is, though. I, I, I gotta think that's the right possible call. I mean, we could always run away. I kind of feel like I need to find out what this is, though. Can I jump into a spot where... Come on, hit jump. I can see both. If I do this, I'd have to jump away. But I might be in a spot where they can't... Uh, they can't punch me. I'm really feeling like this is another hunchback. It is a Wolverine, okay. Hopefully we can jump up on this ridge away. Um, the one thing about a Wolverine is it's going to be pretty mobile for a medium mech of its weight. So we're going to have to deal with that. Um, yeah, let's just hit the hunchback here. We still might be in a good position to, like, maneuver beyond. Like, I, I jump to here, or, like, somewhere, and maybe I can get that rear shot. Uh, I, I don't know, to be totally honest with you. I'm ready. But we do know that our max will have the initiative advantage, so... It is something we can take advantage of. Matter of fact, why am I jumping? If I have the initiative advantage, I'm going to go first. So it doesn't matter what my evasion is. I'm going. Let's save ourselves the heat. I only jumped up here so I could see what the other mech was. Because I, I was curious. I didn't know. Okay. Fire away. Confirmed. A hunchback can take this kind of abuse. Not forever, but... Alright, well, let's first see if I can even attack him from the rear. No, I, I, I can, but it would be kind of a silly move, because he'd just turn around and clock me. Um, can we jump up on the ridge? Sure can. Uh, I think that is the right move to do. Uh, and we'll hit the Wolverine here. If I had hit and run, I would definitely hit the Hunchback and just keep that fire up. But we need to make sure that our mechs... Uh, don't take a lot of damage here because we're fa facing a serious threat here. Engaging jump jets. I could precision strike it to make the shot more likely. Although the question is, yeah, I can't fire all my lasers. I can only fire a couple, couple probably. Um, yeah, it's still worth doing. I'm not going to do the precision strike, obviously. And then Revere is going to have to do another similar retreat move. I still want to be able to attack here. So I'm going to jump here. And then attack. Firing jump jet. Problem is, if I'm in range, he's in range. So he can hit me with that AC-20. And AC-20s do 100 damage. And even with a 20% reduction, that's 80 damage in one location. That could blow off an arm. That could do real serious heavy damage. I am going to use this precision strike, though. Uh, so that I'm more likely going to hit, get hits. And I'm going to go for his head to try and kill him. I don't know how many... How much, yeah, if I get hit him, hit him in the head with a medium laser, he will die. Cry havoc. Okay, I didn't hit him in the head, but I lowered his initiative, so that does help. Okay. Commander. I think we wait with these two. 
because um, they're in good spot. They've got a lot of evasion. Um, let's just see what happens here. Wolverine's going to move first. And miss. Wolverines don't normally have large lasers. Do they? I didn't think so. Usually they have an AC-5, right? So this is some kind of variant. SRM-6. The SRM-6 is normal. I think normally it's a medium laser, SRM-6, AC-5. And that's it? So they swapped out the uh, AC-5 for a large laser, medium laser, small laser. Okay. Good to know. We still don't know what this is. Uh, but in any case, I think this is going to be a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.